So what does Africa represent to you as an economic opportunity sort of now and, and where do you see it in the future from, a, from an economic influence perspective within the global and fast moving economy, global well, economy? My honest answer is I don't know. You don't know. I, I find, again, going back to the market, markets experience part of me and maybe the market mm -hmm. cynic, I worry that some of us have fallen in love with Africa mm -hmm. purely because of uh, Fed QE. Okay. And that all these ridiculous liquidity additions that have gone on for years have, have forced investors to increasingly search for higher and higher return mm -hmm. and of course with it more risk. Right. And I don't dismiss that that's what's going on with Africa today. It's okay. such a popular place to invest yeah. compared with, I don't know, three years ago. Sure. And if I, certainly if I were a policymaker, based mm -hmm. on my experience, that's what I would assume. Right. Now, it might not be right. Mm -hmm. It might well be that there's some big positive things that are going on that, mm -hmm. might, that, that, that will have durability way beyond this connectivity of global interest rates. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do think there are two or three common threads that I find in a number of places, including, again, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Number one is uh, modern technology is allowing people to jump through s stages of development mm -hmm. that just were impossible sure. when I was young. Uh, today, you can use a mobile phone to find out prices of things at a market mm -hmm. where somebody will know whether it's worth making the journey to try and sell the thing. Yeah. You know, it's transformative for parts of mm -hmm. rural Africa. Yeah. So there's the first thing. <coughs> Secondly, as I touched on, you, you have quite a few returning, well-educated uh, African people from the States and, and the UK. And I've often thought that net migration is probably a pretty good leading indicator of a country's future. Because mm -hmm. if your young, educated people want to be there, yeah. as opposed to getting out, mm -hmm. I think that carries quite a lot of, uh, a, a lot of powerful messages. Indeed. And with that, you know, in some countries more than others, there is evidence of a stronger, more credible governance standard yeah that's been learned from some Western countries. So okay. All those three things together, throw them in the pot. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what makes Africa potentially very different today. Okay. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.